Hey there fellow sketchers. I recently found out the street near my house has been declared the coolest street in the world. The coolest street in the world. I'm pretty amused by that and I'm not sure if the coolest street in the world thing is actually related to the fact that I used to live there or it's a separate thing but surely I make the street cooler. <laughs> anyway today I thought I would do some sketching on the coolest street in the world and because I'm combining this with a few things like um, radiology appointment and things because my body's still getting over my Achilles issues I wanted to do quick sketching in and out no mucking around no getting bogged down in details and the best way to sketch fast were well, one of the best materials I found are the the Caran Dash Neo Color Twos. You can't stick around when you're using these. Wait. You can't mess around when you're using these. You can't get too bogged down in detail. Some people try to sharpen them to a point so that they can use them for detailed work, but you're just wasting your money doing that. This is Sketching the World and I'm Kat, a writer and artist from Australia, but my dream is to sketch the world. So if you're not familiar with the Neo Colour crayons, especially the Neo Colour 2s, these are crayons from Caran Dash. They're very waxy crayons, but the thing about these is that you they're water soluble. Yeah, if you're out sketching, you can... And I'm saying this, but to be honest, I very rarely use them like that. I mainly use them as crayons, not with water, but just dry crayons, I guess you'd say. Even though I don't often use the water solubility of these, the reason I like using them as opposed to the Neo Color ones that aren't water soluble is that these are a bit softer so it makes them easier to use and yeah that's basically the main reason I like the softness of course these are really expensive for crayons they are quite expensive so yeah these are not cheap crayons they're really nice to use high quality but definitely not cheap so I really recommend that if you are using these either to buy the set in a little tin the pre-made set I don't often buy things in sets but having the tin is really useful and I find this is a really good size but of course you don't have to do that you could just get your own little tin just grab a tin yourself got one sitting around the house or you can get one a cheap little tin then do that uh, uh, but I would never ever carry these in my sketching case or like in sometimes I put them in here but I don't like to you know you, I, if I do put them in here I put them in this little pocket set and I have put some in this little pocket voila um yeah so I put them in the little pockets separate from my other materials First of all, I don't want to break my Neo colors. I'm not wasting, you know, like all that money on crayons just to have them smashed up by being in my pencil case with other materials. The other thing is too, like these can make like rub off on your other things, your pencils or markers or whatever. And so it makes everything a bit dirtier. The other thing I'd say about these is to yeah, get the basic set. Go with the basic set for starters is always a good, well, it's a good rule with these. Even though I, yeah, as I said, I don't like buying things in a set. But it's nice to have those basic colours and then add in some of your own. I find a couple of these are just ones that are like sometimes they snap. And when that happens, my sister and I swap hair colour so like oh I probably got gave her a small bit off one of mine in exchange for that almost yeah getting quite childlike and adding that whole sense of fun into your sketching 
So, now that I've talked a bit about the Neo Colors, Neo Color 2s, let's hit the road and get some sketching done. <laughs> That's my first sketch done and it took less than half an hour. I know my coffee hadn't gone cold by the time I'd finished so yeah nice and quick. This sketch was even faster, probably because my seat was less comfortable. And now it's time to move on to my next location. I'm rushing to get this finished because I'm getting hungry and the shop around the corner has the most delicious looking sponge cake. I might grab some to take home to have with a coffee. Headed out for a second day of sketching, this time combined with a hairdresser's appointment. Uh -huh. sketch of the day finished. This one took about 20 minutes or so. I really love the windows. That's my favourite part. I quite often lean on my bag when I'm sketching. But unless I have a lot of stuff in that's not very stable, and that can be a bit difficult for sketching. So I'm thinking about getting some thick cardboard to put in the back pocket so that I always have that stable surface to press against. <laughs> Thank you. 
I wanted to fit in the second shop but it was time to run off to get my hair cut and I didn't want to be late. So this is my book of sketching around Melbourne. I've been using this book for quite a while now, probably over a year. I always forget I've got it <laughs> and then go out sketching without it, use another sketchbook. But yeah, I've been keeping this in my bag recently just so that I remember I've got it and have everything in the one book. So let's just see what the let's see what I ended up doing in my trip to the coolest street in the world. This is the first sketch. I've used a bit of pencil in this. I've used this green. I forgot to take my dark indigo pencil out with me and it was really hard for me not using it. I did use the water with the neo colours here inside the shops. I'm not sure if I like that effect or not, but it is quite good under the pencil. So you've got the pencil lines over the top that aren't water soluble and then the inside of the stores gives a bit of sense of something going on there without having to spend ages drawing the shop interior so then this is the second one and yeah this is old building i actually wanted to go over that sign to do the dark around the light writing but i have not done that yet i didn't want to do it with pencil because i thought it'd be too hard i'm gonna end up just losing the text if i did it with the crayon I wouldn't be able to get enough accuracy. Yeah, thought of that I would finish it off at home, but I've never got around to actually doing that. So this was the third one. I like this one with all the signs and everything going on. And this car, I have a lot of trauma about sketching cars, but I put the car in for this. And so that was a nice little street scene. Then this was one that I was waiting for the tram and I started sketching and then the tram came and so the sketch never got finished. I might end up doing that from a photo or I might just leave it like that. This, yeah, I like this. I love the colour scheme I used in this. This, I think the colours that um, light blue and the red, which was also my limited palette colour scheme for this month. And I'm still using it even in other sketches because I just love that colour scheme. So I love that. Love this. I had the idea of doing this building here because it was white, putting in all just this is the silvery grey neo colour. Um, putting it all in with that and then the pencil over the top. Not sure if I like how that's worked or not. I'll have to think about that a bit. And never got to finish this here because oh yeah, I had a hairdresser's appointment, had to rush off to the hairdressers, so that's why that didn't get finished. And that was all my sketching over the last week or so on the coolest street in the world. So, thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye.